and it's starting to rain. Grand. Picture this. It's, it's 7 o'clock in the morning, 7.30. You're in Colorado, you're on top of a mountain, you know? It's nice and beautiful up there, and it's raining, but it's okay because it's gonna stop in like 30 minutes, except for here, it probably won't, I don't know. After you make your cup of coffee, and since you use cream and sugar, like me, because unlike everybody else, you don't have to drink black coffee to prove how tough you are, you already know how tough you are, and you just like the little things in life, like creamer in your coffee. So after you're done drinking your coffee with your delicious creamer, you still have creamer. And it's going to be 80 degrees here soon in a couple of hours, and you don't have a place to store your creamer because you ran out of ice. You don't have ice in your cooler anymore, it's gone. Now it's just a sloshy mess in there. Not to mention that your stupid half and half carton, it's made of cardboard, so like even if you put it in the ice, it's just gonna fall apart, so you're doomed, you know? You can't store that. You can store it if it's in a plastic carton, but you can't do it if it's in a cardboard carton, and you bought the cardboard carton one because it was cheaper and it tastes better. So what are you gonna do now? I broke yogurt, I broke butter, I broke so much stuff where I wasn't even saving money technically, because I probably wasted like $50 worth of food because anything I put in my cooler broke or got ruined somehow. Even my tortillas got like white, they got like washed off with water. So like, I don't know, it just wasn't a good mix. You know how many times I had to drain my Yeti cooler? So, okay, now I'm just rambling at this point and this coffee didn't work out well. I think I made my grounds too coarse and uh, they needed to be a little bit more fine so the coffee's just gross. This is one of my packages, but we're gonna focus on this one under here for now. This technically wasn't supposed to come in until Tuesday, but I'm glad it came in today. I'm not glad that I didn't bring my pocket knife. Ta-da! This is the Alpi Cool 50 liter cooler refrigerator. It's not a cooler, it's a refrigerator. So it's a 50 liter refrigerator for your overland build. I bought this for, I think it was $320 plus tax. I really wanted a uh, Dometic or an ARB, so those seem to be the better options, but I couldn't afford them. And I'm actually selling my Yeti cooler for like 100, 150 bucks, depending on which offer I get best. So I'm gonna get a little bit of reimbursement. So this is only gonna cost me like half the price it would have because I'm selling something to get something. And long term it's gonna save me money because I won't have to buy ice. That's assuming this works. <laughs> this is like half the price to four, a fourth of the price of other brands of coolers, the higher end ones. So I really don't know how well this is gonna work, but we're gonna find out. And that's what this is for and I need to cut those. So I'm gonna go get a knife. Just kidding, knives are overrated. Look what I got. Oh. I just made a mess. Okay, now I actually just need to figure out how to fit that, you know, in my in my actual rig, so. Did I even record? Now I'm really confused. What? It's still not focusing. Focus. And a quick review of the Canon M50. I'm fixing to take this thing back to Best Buy because I keep having focusing issues and then it turns off and then it tells me. It's been having issues for a while now. I've just been working through it. Long story short, the 50 liter is just skinnier and taller than the Yeti and it's got an extra 10 liters of space. Sweet. Put it in that way or this way? I don't know. Cords. And this way. Ta-da! Look, it's very fancy. It's very fancy. Now I gotta plug her in. You know, when I thought about doing this in my head, everything seemed a lot easier. Aha! We got power! I don't like that cord, it's very loose. Power button. Um, settings. It's making noises. Um, eco. Max Fahrenheit. I don't know what's safe. We're going to set it to. It said that has Bluetooth. Does that? I thought it didn't have Bluetooth. I'm so confused. This can be a freezer. We can literally freeze stuff in here. All right, we're gonna leave it there. 
We're gonna come back and see where it, what it turns to, where it gets cold, how cold it gets. Let's turn it down actually. I'm gonna push this thing. It says 60 degrees. It is cold. Dude, that's awesome. It's a cold fridge. I like it. It's gonna be good. I wanna put like insulation around it or something. You know, keep it good. Okay, nothing bad to say about this cooler so far. Then again, I haven't really used it. I'm gonna put this in here just because I can. Sweet. I wonder if I can buy a basket for it. It'd be a good accessory. There's so much space in here. I don't even need like anything else. I can use this fridge for like the rest of my life. I'm gonna just buy an apartment instead of like buying a mini fridge. I'm just gonna use this. It's portable, it's mini. Stick it all the way back there. This is really exciting. I'm very excited about that. Okay, time to clean up. 